laws in many countries, over 30 countries around the world. And it tackles hunger and then So the work that we do is working with governments, working with companies that produce food, a lot of businesses produce food, and working with civil society to make sure that we have the right partnership to tackle the hunger. <laughs> but if I want to solve hunger, I have to find a way to make sure the women have power, have their rights, have power, have access to finance that can make them more productive. That means you are producing more in whatever you are doing. How do I make sure that you as women are connected to the market so that you can sell what you produce and you can earn more money? Because I know that money is going to come back and go into the education that helps the nutrition of your children. So that's why I like to work with you as farmers, especially women farmers is that if I look in the way we are looking to tackle hunger or malnutrition, then we have to look at who is the person that is in that whole value chain. So who is the person that will fall prey? It is a woman. Who is the person that will give birth to a child? It is the mother. Who is the mother? Who is going to rescue that child? It is the mother. And we know today, by the science, the best thing you can do for your child is to exclusively rescue the six months. Then who is the, the person that will make sure that there is food on it? It is the mother. Who is the people who plant most of the food in the world? It is the mother. Who is the person when they have money in their pocket, they're not going to go to the Shabi, they're going to make sure there's proper food on the table. Who is the person that will make sure the children will go to school? So not, it's not just in Salah. Everywhere in the world I go, it is the same. When we are explaining climate change, you know, part of our problem is we get too complicated. And so we have our friends that are good activists, but they come here and they want to talk about some big things which you are sitting in Jakarta and you are dying because there's no food. I can't go talk about carbon. In the end day, we have many leaders in our country who will come and they will talk big things they want to do. You know, if you go back where we started, in the 1970s, when people had no rights, when we had to go stand outside the hostel to organize workers, I was going to see that they how work on our people. Whether it was me, whether it was Swellenzi Babavi, or whether it was Chris Hani, we never went to the people and said, I can solve it. He said, I will work with you to make sure you understand, you have the skills, you have the organization, and you have the tools that will make you solve your own problems. That is the only way I find in the whole world that we will solve our problems. And you must be able to say, there are certain things you need to organize that you need government to support. I cannot because I cannot, you know, there are millions of farmers in Africa that are help. I'm not going to be able to make well, what are good organizations here that are helping. You know, I heard that the more science here, Oxfam is here. And those are organizations that we will support first. Because I cannot, I don't have people. And at the moment we have, you know, my son, he's 20 years old. He was explained because he was training farmers from compost. I get young people involved in agriculture. <laughs> The guy. So two weeks ago, so I was we as people, we need to eat healthy food to be healthy. The soil, the same like us, it needs to eat healthy food.
so that it can give good plants. So just if we want to be healthy, we need to first feed the soil. The soil will feed the plant. I think what my father is asking is, what do you need to do the compost? Is you need but yourselves. We can come and teach you. It takes two people. We come. We can spend one day together make compost, and then you have that knowledge and you do it yourselves. I think the important thing to note is that, uh, for example, from what you said, uh, Jerry, if you are one farmer alone and you are trying to produce on your small plot and then you want to negotiate with quick and pay, if you are one farmer, they will break you. Like I can break this pen. If I take all the pens in this room, all the farmers together, I cannot break it. And I think that is the power of being organized.